stop squatting. <laughs> Dude, don't do it again. You're going to blow out your knees. Heard it before. Heard it all the time. So my name is Dr. LeBauer with LeBauer Physical Therapy. My name is Dr. Nielsen with Kaizen Physical Therapy. And we're here to tell you it's okay to squat. It's okay to sit on the toilet. It's okay to squat down on the ground. So we, we've both seen patients that come in that their doctor has told them, hey, your knees are so bad that you shouldn't be squatting. Or your knees are so bad, I'm surprised you're still walking, is one I've heard. Or your knees are so bad you shouldn't run, but that's a different video. That is. That's the next video, so you know, listen up. So what ha what's happening here? Well, your provider might be well-meaning and saying, never squat again. But what they're really saying, well, what's happening is now they've limited you. Now they've limited your possibilities to never squatting again. They might be well-meaning, but what they're doing is they're putting in your head that there's something wrong with your knees that should, and they should never move. Well, because they just don't know. They don't know. So if you've been told that you don't want to squat and you do want to squat, then you should probably see a physical therapist. If you've been told you don't, you shouldn't squat and you don't want to squat, don't worry about doing anything. Yeah, don't worry about it. And squatting shouldn't hurt. But just because squatting hurts doesn't mean you should never squat again. There are cultures in Asia that they wait in the bus stop to, and they're squatting. They squat to use the bathroom. They squat pretty much all the time and they don't have knee arthritis epidemic like we do here in the United States. They don't have knee replacement epidemic like we do here in the United States. So if someone has been told never squat again, what should they do? They should reach out to a physical therapist and get evaluated and see exactly what's going on. Um, a lot of times it's just the muscle muscles around the area that are, that are uh, causing the pain and it's not even the joint itself. So once we get the muscles to calm down, all of a sudden the knee feels better and you can squat again. And it might even be your hips or your core stability that's keeping you from squatting and your knees are the thing that are letting you know that, hey, something's not right here, but it might not be your knees. So just click a link around this video and there's going to be a button there where you can apply to get on the phone with either Dr. Nielsen or myself so we can talk about what's going on, how we might help, and even if we can present a path to squatting again so that you can play with your kids, go to the gym, or even just wait for the bus stop while squatting.